Veronica Mars is back, again. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're discussing everything we know about Hulu's Veronica Mars revival so far. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. So it's big, huh? Legendary. Well, let's see it. I mean, if it's as big as you say, I'll be your girlfriend. We could go to prom together. What? What seems to be the problem? I'm on a schedule here, Vato. Veronica Mars was and is almost completely unique as far as TV shows go. There aren't exactly a lot of neo-noir, teen detective dramas out there. I remembered Lily used to hide things in her air vents. Let's see what's in there. The title character's investigations brought to light the inequalities and seedier side of her hometown of Neptune, as well as solved some murders and other crimes to boot, while also introducing us to an unforgettable cast of characters. I know what happened. I know what happened. Sadly, the show was cancelled after only three seasons. A sequel film was funded by fans years later, and though it wasn't a box office hit, it still offered some closure and a look at what happened to the characters in the intervening years. I need your help, Veronica. I don't really do that anymore. Hulu's 2019 revival of the series will bring back the original creative team, with creator Rob Thomas and executive producers Diane Ruggiero Wright and Dan Etheridge, who will be joined by star Kristen Bell as well. You know the difference between a lawyer and a prostitute? Prostitute stops screwing you when you're dead. Another surprising addition behind the scenes will be the inclusion of former NBA and Airplane star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to the writing staff. No, we're not joking. Got it? Roger. Huh? Most of the main cast members from the original series will be returning as well. Besides Kristen Bell's eponymous heroine, Enrico Colantoni will return as her father Keith, and Jason Doring is back as her bad boy expo turned Navy man Logan. Our story is epic. Spanning years, continents, lives ruined, bloodshed. Francis Capra, Percy Daggs III, and Ryan Hansen are all back as Weevil, Wallace, and Dick Casablancas, respectively, too. Hey, Logan, that girl who follows you around is here. Hey, you get some work done? Your boobs look bigger. So do yours. You know what? Almost everyone is back, except for Veronica's other exes. But one ex is enough, right? Come back to me. Always. New cast members are on their way too, and some of them will be pretty big names. You're a renegade. Well, my friends call me Mama Leone. Don Lewis, a familiar face from Rob Thomas's I Zombie, will be playing Neptune's new police chief, who first appeared in the books, which are almost totally canon, by the way. What a world, huh? Meanwhile, J.K. Simmons will be playing a fixer for Casablanca's, Mary McDonald will be portraying a therapist, and Patton Oswalt is set to play a pizza delivery guy who is also a true crime enthusiast. Moving speech, truly, but nobody leaves until they go through orientation. We've covered the why, how, and who, now let's get to the what. According to Kristen Bell, the new series will have a darker tone than the show thus far. I think people want to see a hero again. We had years of loving anti-heroes, and I think the world is too scary now. Whether that means it'll be more graphic or not, we don't know. Given what we know about the plot of the forthcoming season, though, that seems a distinct possibility. It's going to be a much darker world. It's going to be a bigger world. It's definitely not going to be what we did on UPN or the CW. So I want to brace fans for that, that mm -hmm. it's going to be darker and bigger and more cinematic and definitely a little bit different. Reportedly, the season-long storyline, which is set five years after the film, will focus on a serial killer targeting Spring Breakers visiting Neptune, which will increase the social class tensions in the town. And what about the show itself? Well, the limited series will be eight episodes long and will debut on July 26, 2019. I would do her until she's murder she wrote. Right. I mean, until literally everyone in Neptune is dead. If you're not a fan yet or just want to catch up before the new season, worry not, because Hulu will have the first three seasons and the movie available for viewing before the premiere. Street scum and beach bums. And that's just the walk to my car. Fortunately, I'm good to go. While eight episodes may not seem like much, Kristen Bell has indicated a desire to continue for as long as the audience wants more Veronica Mars, 
And we don't know about you, but we're absolutely up for more. I want to be a part of projects that people get excited about, and if they still get excited about Veronica Mars, then I'm happy to do it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.